today we'll talk about ovulation. We'll talk about the process of ovulation. Um, ovulation is a very special event that must occur in the body of a woman before the process of procreation can start. So ovulation is very vital in the whole process of reproduction. Without ovulation, there won't be fertilization. Without fertilization, there won't be conception. And without conception, there will be no existence of human beings. So ovulation is actually a process that happens cyclically. And it happens when one of the ovaries released one egg or it can be more than one egg and uh, it's it's something that happens under the control of some special hormones so prior to the ovulation day proper a particular hormone called fsh follicular stimulating hormone will actually prime the follicles the follicles are like vehicles that carry the eggs will prime the follicles to develop and aid in maturation of one dominant follicle. So this one dominant follicle will be the one that will contain the eggs that will be released on ovulation day. Then sometime mid-cycle, another important hormone called LH, luteinizing hormone, will go very high. It's called LH surge. When this hormone goes very high, it's a signal that ovulation is about to happen. Ovulation is simply the release of the egg. So when the LH goes up, the chances that ovulation will happen within 12 to 12 to 24 hours. It's very high. There are a couple of signs you can have that will tell you that ovulation is about to happen. You can have increase in your basal body temperature. Some people can have spotting. Some people can have mid-cycle pain. Some people can have increase in their cervical um, egg whites, the mucus, and a couple of other non-specific signs. But ovulation is very, very important and cardinal in the whole process of reproduction. And um, generally, most women will have a 28-day cycle and in a 28-day cycle, the day the ovulation will occur is applying the method of 14. So you use factor 14. So you minus 14 from 28. You get 14. So if you start counting from the first day of menstrual bleeding, you count 14 days. On day 14, likely the egg will be released. This can fluctuate within a particular woman's cycle or you can also fluctuate outside the cycle so some people can have instead of 28 they can have 26 they can have 30 they can have 24 but whatever happens you start counting from the first day of the period so if you're using 28 day cycle you count 14 days if you're using 30 days, you minus 14 from 30, you get 16. So you count 16 days. So these are a few things you should know about ovulation that is very important. Also, we have what we call the fertile window. The fertile window is the period in a woman's cycle when she has the best potentials of becoming pregnant. And the fertile window is actually a range. So it starts from five days to the ovulation and ends a day after ovulation. It's a seven days period. So within this period, if, if sperm is deposited inside the vagina, it still have it, it has a chance of getting the woman pregnant. Okay? So that's in a nutshell what ovulation is all about. Thank you for listening.